session is um, Flow Fit. It's a fitness power yoga class. Um, we're going to begin with a good warm up to get your body ready, and then we'll go through the, the power flow. Any movements you get stuck with, just move and breathe, don't panic, take your time, pause. Um, if you're watching this on replay later, then feel free to pause the video and retry um, and ask me for tips in the, the comments or Facebook chat, whatever you want. Um, so, we're going to begin with a quick warm up. So, we'll start. Standing on our mats and we'll just begin to roll out our wrists, so churn the wrists and churn one of your feet at the same time. So we'll just do 10 circles or so with one ankle and then when you've done sort of 10 circles on that foot we'll switch to the other side and do the same with the other ankle. So we're just mobilising the joints. If you can reverse the direction of the way that you're turning your wrist then please do but I do understand that the foot ends up going everywhere when you change direction so don't worry if you just do the same direction the whole time. Okay and then come back to a standing position we're going to roll the shoulders back and down so think about really hunching them up into your ears and then pushing those shoulder blades down as you squeeze them together maybe five or six times backwards and then we're going to rotate them five or six times forwards And then when you've done those, just come back to centre and we'll inhale to lift one arm up. Exhale, reach over to the opposite side. Inhale, back to centre, switching over the arms. Exhale, reach over to the other side. So we're going to do this five times each side. Always inhaling to lift and lengthen as you come back to centre. And exhaling to reach and fold, compress as you reach over. So just take your own time, do it in your own breath, feel that stretch in the side body, really start to open up the body and get it ready for your practice. We're going to go for one more each side. And then this time we're going to come back to centre, spread the arms out wide in a T-shaped position and as we exhale we're going to look to behind us and twist, wrapping the arms around us. So you're just going to swing them out to the side and let them wrap. Ideally, probably hitting the top of your shoulder and your lower back where your kidney is roughly. We'll just do a couple of twists in each direction, getting the spine nice and warm and mobile. One more each side. Come back to centre and then inhale as you lift and reach, taking your hands all the way up towards the ceiling, extended to Dasana. Exhale as you hinge at the hips and come into Uttanasana forward fold. We'll take ragdoll, so bend the knees. Think about drawing the chest over the thighs, take opposite hand to opposite elbow, crown of the head towards the floor and just hang out here for a few deep breaths. You can swing from side to side, you can bounce up and down, just start to feel like your, your lower back and your hamstrings and maybe even your calves feeling a stretch, they're getting mobilised. Start to warm, warm them up, wake them up. And then just take your hands all the way to the floor now and walk your feet all the way back to down facing dogs. So with your hands, think about gripping the mat with your fingers, pressing down through the knuckles, pressing through the hands, pushing the crown of the head towards the sky. Take a bend in the knees as you think about tipping your tailbone towards the ceiling, finding that length in your spine and then begin to pedal the feet out, opening up those um, hamstrings, those calves. The feet and ankles also get mobilised in this position as well as your hips too. And then if you want to, just take a few pulses through the shoulders, pushing the crown of the head towards the floor. My yoga mat's become really slippy, I'm so sorry guys, I might land on my face in a minute. <laughs> and then we're going to take the right foot outside of the right hand into a lizard lunge option to drop the back knee if you want to. We're going to inhale to lift and twist. And then exhale, tap the elbow to the floor if you can. If not, just the hand will be fine. And then we're going to inhale to lift and twist again. So we're going to do three of these each side. Replace the hand when you've done the third one. Step back to down facing dog. And then left foot comes outside of left hand. Drop the back knee to the floor if you want to. Inhale to lift and twist. Exhale, elbow tap to the floor. So again, three on this side. Replace the hand where the elbow was, step back to down facing dog and we'll take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Option to drop the knees if you want to. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. 
I just pedal out the feet one last time and then slowly walk them all the way in towards your hands coming into Uttanasana forward fold at the front of your mat. Think about inhaling to find length in your spine, exhaling to fold deeper. If you want to take a quick crab dog, you can for one final time. And then we're going to inhale as we come all the way up, extend to Tadasana, exhale, release the arms, shake it all out. You should be feeling a little bit more warm now. So we're going to begin today's flow in Tadasana. So come to the front of your mats. Lift your toes, spread them, press your feet firmly into the ground. Really feel like you're rooted into the ground through your feet. Engage the legs, tuck the tailbone under, suck the navel back towards the spine, roll the shoulders back and down, and just take a nice deep breath all the way in through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. On the next inhale, we're going to lift the hands all the way up, extended to Jasna, reaching up tall. As we exhale, we're going to keep that length as we hinge all the way down into Uttanasana, forward fold. Think about drawing that chest over the thighs, crowning the head towards the floor. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, plant the hands on top of the feet. And then we're going to slide the hands up the shins, finding our flat back tabletop position. So see if you can straighten the legs, send the hips back, squeeze those shoulder blades together, and find a nice neutral spine. So the eye gaze is just in front of the mat, probably on the floor. Exhale, melt the body all the way forwards. Plant the hands on the floor. We're going to heel toe the feet out to the edges of the mat, so you're going to find your squat stance. Inhale to lift all the way up to extended to dust and the palms together at the top. Exhale, come down into your garland pose. We're just going to take a few pulses here at the bottom of the squat just to open up the hips. Lift the chest. Don't worry if your heels can't touch the floor, just focus on having a nice lifted chest and try not to round the back. Try and find a nice flat, long spine. Exhale, release the hands to the floor, send the hips up high again, heel toe the feet back underneath. Plant the hands down either side of the feet and option to step or hop back to plank. Catch and plank, if you're hopping back, don't let those hips drop. And then we're gonna push back to down facing dog. Just pedal out the feet and we'll take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin. Inhale, press up to cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. From here, we're gonna find our pounce pose. So bend at the knees, look forwards, maybe bounce a few times, and then we're going to step or hop to garden pose, so squat pose. So you're gonna step your feet outside of your hands. Come into your garden pose again. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then plant the hands. Come back up into your Uttanasana stance, sorry, keeping the feet out wide. And then inhale as you come all the way up, extended to Dasana, heel toe the feet out just slightly wider again. And we're going to come into goddess squat. So come down, legs out wide, find a 90 degree angle with your legs, and hands go on the knees. We're going to then drop the, I'm going to face you so you can see, drop the shoulder to the opposite knee. Inhale back to center, exhale, drop the other shoulder to the opposite knee. So we're going to do that two more times each side. Really pressing the other knee away, finding that squat, and then inhale as you come all the way back up to Tadasana. Exhale as you come all the way back down to your Uttanasana forward fold. We're then going to step the left leg all the way back, finding our high lunge position. So think about having train tracks on your mat. The wider the train tracks are, the steadier your stance will be. We're going to inhale to find our high lunge with our hands up above the head, reaching up high. As we exhale, we're going to cactus the arms, tap the back knee to the floor, circle the arms back up as we inhale again, coming back into that high lunge, and then put all the weight over this front leg, drag the back leg through, tuck it up, feel free to stay here, or extend the leg out in front of you. We're going to do that two more times. So you're going to exhale as you step back, find your high lunge position, take a nice deep breath in, exhale, cactus the arms, tap the knee, inhale to lift, Tuck, kick, exhale to step back. Reset as you inhale, exhale. Cactus the arms, tuck the knee, circle the arms. As you inhale, lift, tuck, kick, step back to your high lunge position. And then from here, we're gonna go into warrior three. So sending the body weight forwards over that front leg, lifting the back leg out behind you and finding your warrior three position. Hold for three, two, 
One, take the hands to the floor, come back into your lunge position, finding a high lunge, knee lifted off the floor, eye gaze forwards, but hands are now on the floor. So really engage that back leg, take a nice deep breath all the way in, and then step back to down facing dog. Pedal out the feet, take a nice deep breath all the way in, exhale, push the heels towards the floor, and then inhale, find your high plank, hold for three, two, one, exhale, push back to your down facing dog, and then we're going to inhale as we lift our right leg up high to the sky, and then as we exhale, crunch the knee towards your nose underneath you, so tiger curl, press the ground away, inhale to kick back, roll forwards into your high plank, if you can, find your balance, your balancing plank, if not, you can drop your back knee to the floor, and then we're lifting the left arm, so you've got your right leg lifted, left arm lifted for a bird dog. You're then going to bring the elbow to the knee, crunch, send it back out, replace the hand, tuck the toes, press back to your down facing dog, and we'll take a vinyasa. So inhale, roll forwards to high plank, option to drop the knees, exhale, low plank on knees, chest, chin, inhale, press up to cobra, exhale, push back to extended child's pose. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then inhale as you come back up onto your knees, tuck the toes, press back to your down facing dog, and we're gonna step the right foot all the way through to a lunge position. So set yourself up in a nice high lunge, keep that back knee off the floor, so squeeze that thigh. Get ready to take your hands off the floor because we're gonna shoot up from this lunge into warrior three. So when you're ready, we're going to inhale to lift and shoot. See if you can catch in warrior three, brace yourself for three, two, one, and then we're going to inhale as we lift all the way up, keeping that leg lifted if you can, tuck the knee up in front of you, and then exhale as you kick back, and we're going to repeat that two more times, inhale to lift and tuck, exhale to kick back, inhale to lift and tuck, exhale to kick back, and then this time you can inhale all the way up to extend it to Dasana, release the legs, exhale, release the arms. Shake it all off, and we will repeat on the other side. So same again, but just with the other legs and arms. So from your um, Tadasana position, we're going to inhale as we come all the way up. Extended Tadasana. Exhale, hinge at the hips, come into your Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, slide those hands up the shins, find your flat back tabletop position. Sending those hips back, squeezing those shoulder blades together, finding that nice neutral spine. Exhale, release yourself, plant your hands on the floor, heel toe your feet out to the edges of the mat, find your squat stance. Inhale as you lift and reach all the way up, extended to dust and the palms together at the top. Exhale as we come down into our garland pose, take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release the hands to the floor, heel toe your feet out and um, just slightly, no sorry, <laughs> we're going to jump and catch back in plank if you can or step back if you want to, and then we'll take a vinyasa, so exhale, low plank or knees, chest, chin, inhale, press up to cobra, exhale, tuck the toes and press back to down facing dog. Pedal out the feet, take a moment here, and then when you're ready, we're going to find our pounce pose, so bend at the knees, eye gaze forwards and get ready to jump and catch and squat, or step to squat, so bend at the knees and jump, find your garland pose position, Again, take a nice deep breath in here, and then inhale as we come all the way up. Step the feet out slightly wider, exhale, sit back into your goddess squat position for those shoulder taps. So the feet are slightly wider, knees are bent at a 90 degree angle with the hips. And then we're taking opposite shoulder as we exhale to opposite knee. Inhale to center, exhale the other side. So we're going to do three of these on each side, really trying to keep those hips low, keeping the bottom of that squat if we can. One more each side, you're nearly there. And then inhale as you come all the way up, jump, catching chair. Inhale, come back to extended Tadasana, exhale, come all the way down into your Uttanasana forward fold. This time we're taking a big step back with the left, uh, sorry, the right foot, left foot forwards into your high lunge position. Find your steady stance and then inhale to lift the hands off the floor. 
Exhale, cactus the hands out to the side, drop the back knee to the floor. Circle those arms up. Inhale to lift and reach. Bring the legs through, tuck, kick, and then exhale as you step back. Reset, find your high lunge position. Exhale, cactus arms, knee to floor. Circle the arms up as you inhale to lift, tuck, kick. One more time. Exhale, step back. Reset, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, cactus arms, tap the knee to the floor. Inhale, circle the arms, lift, tuck, kick. Exhale, step back to your high lunge. Fold over that front leg, finding your warrior three position and then sending your weight through over that front leg into warrior three. See if you can hold here for three, two, one. Exhale, release, take your hands to the floor, find your high lunge position. Shoot the heart forwards and then exhale, step back to down facing dog. Pedal out the feet. Take a moment to catch your breath and then inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, press back to your down facing dog and we're back to those tiger curls. So inhale, left leg goes high to the sky. Exhale, crunch it through, nose to knee. Inhale, kick back. See if you can find that plank balance now. So option to do it on your hands and knees or roll forwards into that high plank. And you're taking now your right hand off the floor, finding that plank balance, holding, tapping the elbow to the knee if you can, sending it back out, and then stepping back to your down facing dog, inhaling to roll forwards to high plank, exhale low plank, inhale press up to cobra, exhale press back to extended child's pose. Take a nice deep breath in there, exhale, inhale, come back up into down facing dog and we're back to that lunge to warrior three on the other leg so you're going to inhale to lift the left leg up high to the sky swing it through find your lunge position on the left side this time and get ready to shoot your weight through that front leg so take your hands off the floor steady your stance press all your weight through that front leg and then when you're ready inhale to shoot catch in warrior three hold for three two one, and then we're going to inhale to lift and tuck. Exhale to kick back. Inhale to lift and tuck. Exhale to kick back. Last one. Inhale to lift and tuck. Exhale to kick back. And then inhale as you come all the way up. Extend it to Dasana. Shake the arms and the legs off as you exhale. And we'll work our way down for a cool down. So inhale as you come all the way back up to extended Tadasana. Exhale, come down into your Uttanasana forward fold. We'll take a moment there in Ragdoll, so if you want to just relax off the shoulders, the lower back, let the head hang towards the floor. You can bend at the knees. Just take a few breaths as you swing it out in Ragdoll. And then whenever you're ready, take your hands all the way down to the floor. Walk the feet all the way back and come down onto your knees in extended child's pose. Take a nice deep breath in here. Feel the air expand into your upper back. Exhale, release. And then walk the hands all the way over to the right. Feel the stretch in the left side of your body. Take a couple of deep breaths in here. And then walk your hands all the way back to the center of the mat and then all the way over to the left. Find the stretch in the right side of the body. Take a couple of deep breaths in here. And then slowly walk your hands back to the center. Take a moment just to reset, shake it all out. And then whenever you're ready, just slowly come up to a seated position. Slide yourself all the way down now onto your backs. Bring your knees in towards your chest and just hug them with both arms. Maybe make a few hip circles or rock from side to side. Whatever feels good for you in this moment. We'll take a hold of the left knee. Exhale as we extend our right leg all the way to the floor. Inhale to pull the left knee in towards the center of the sternum. Take two deep breaths in.
and then inhale to bring both knees back to centre. Switch over the hands, exhale as you extend the right leg, oh, sorry, the left leg all the way to the floor. Pull the right leg in as you inhale. Take two deep breaths in. And then finally, inhale to bring both knees back to centre. Take the arms up now in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. And we're just going to drop the knees from side to side for a few window wipers to finish. Just releasing off the lower back, opening up the shoulders, the chest, trying to keep those shoulders glued to the floor as we twist. Gently massaging the glutes, the upper legs. And then whenever you're ready, just gently bring your knees in towards your chest. Give yourself one final little hug and a lower back massage. And then make your way gradually to seated. So I'm going to roll over onto the right side of my body. Come into the centre of my mat. And then take one last deep inhale as we lift our hands up above our heads, palms together. As we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts. To the lips, kind words. To the heart kind of feelings. Namaste.